Praise the Lord, everybody. Truly, it is a, an anointed day today for me to even stand in your presence. I don't know how I got here. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I come to tell you, the Lord sent me here. The Lord, he knows why I'm here today. He ordered my footsteps to be in your presence. And the only thing that you're doing me is, is bless my people. I have someone that means a great deal to me to help me make the decisions. This person I love, I cherish, and you might know this person. She bring a flavor flag to the house. I don't know if she bring one of the girls from the other show to the house. Fellas, I want to introduce my queen, my mother. I said, oh, in the hell no. Who are you expecting, the Toast Fairy? Man, her mama comes walking out. My hat on, my hat bounced up on top of my head a couple times like this. Yeah, I, I was blown away. I said, oh my God, we got mama to deal with and tackle. This is gonna be interesting. If any of these guys want to get to know my baby, they have to get through me first. Give Flav a chance, you, you're you, not. You didn't say marriage. I know you didn't say that. And that's never gonna happen, ever, ever, ever. Flav. You're going home when I leave. Mrs. Flavor Flav! Don't you put your filthy hands on her in any kind of way. I don't want my daughter here with you. Even if it kills me, if I'm down to my last breath, I am going to find the right man this time around for my daughter. She walked in and it was like a 10 hut. They knew that this was not going to be easy with my mom. No hands. I thought Flav was gonna show up. Instead, I get the mother, and I gotta change my whole strategy. Not only am I charming New York, I gotta charm her mother, too. It's like twice as much work. How you doing? Remove yours? Sure. Turn around. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Very good. Shh. Shut up. So are you impressed? Slightly. All right. My nickname is Tumbleweed. The reason behind that is because I've actually planted seeds of creative execution and ideas for companies, and they've reaped uh, billions of dollars off of my ideas and concepts. I'm not here to kick lines. I'm not here to do anything but be sincere, get to know your mother. Ooh. He has a brain. He makes money. He looks good in clothes. He's a total package. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna call you T-Weed. Uh, I'm actually a tennis coach slash tennis pro. Hi. My name is Trends. Yo, check it out. I'm not reading from a book. I'm just freestyling. I know where you get your looks. You know what? You're definitely a trend setter. I'll wrap them holy dreads up. I love them long, tall, and lean. I want you to be my bag of bones. Bones? First, let me say I'm a God-fearing individual, and there's nothing else I put before God. Oh, mm. Ooh, he touched me. Proverbs 27, verse 1 states, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yeah. Wicked enemies came upon me to eat my flesh. They stumbled and fell. I can break it down. Ooh. Ooh. I uh, went to Georgetown, and I'm a corporate recruiter. In high school and college, my friends called me T-Money. I have a tendency to be clutch when it matters most. I grew up in LA. I'm in the music industry. I didn't come on your show for that. I'm already set. I came on here for you. My brother's here with me today, but I'm here to show him and prove to him that I'm the better man. But if you're looking for love and romance, that's definitely me. I'm gonna call you real, because I'm feeling you right now. Uh, me and my brother kind of been in competition with girls ever since damn near daycare. You know, he's competition. I ain't gonna lie, he's competition. But, you know, at the same time, he don't got enough up here to beat me. 
My name is Famous, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I ain't thinking no poop but line to say, the kids in the neighborhood gave me this name. But I'm here to keep it real, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna make that decision with me, and that's how it's gonna be. Ooh. And then maybe your mama can see that I am that genuine guy. I'm gonna call you Chance, call because you chance. definitely have a chance right girl. now. He was the most impressive. He's got that edge, that New York edge, that edge that I want in a man. Sorry, mama. Tiffany likes to thug type boys, and um, I don't know what's gotten into her, but uh, she deserves better. Don't think that you're here to challenge me in any kind of way, because I'm not gonna take your bull, because you got a lot of it in you, and I can see it, okay? Shut up, you don't. You got a big mouth and a big attitude, and you are taking a chance. Call me Token because I believe you need a token for everywhere you go, and hopefully I don't I can think be a she token. does. Woo. First, I want to let you know that my name is Cupid. I'm the Romanian god for love. Wow. The cover of my book might not be the sexiest or the most expensive, okay. but my pages will put you in a dream. Really? This, I want you to open right now, just because it has a little meaning. Tell me a little bit about it. I had What's a very, very tragic accident three weeks ago. It, it, it might be something scary. Pass it to me. I lost the love of my life. She was a Yorkshire teacup princess, oh, and she God. was my everything. I'm sorry to I hear treated that. her like a princess that she was. She meant the world to me, and I lost her. And I will treat you just as good as the princess that you are, if not better. That's me and my baby. Which is beautiful. Oh, you need therapy, honey. I will treat you the way I treat my princess. Okay. I promise. Okay. You. I want to name you Romance. I need to give you therapy. He is cute, He's isn't a... he? He yeah. is. Yeah. No. So what? He's a freaking kook. You don't. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna treat you like my puppy. I don't have my puppy, but you can take his place. Get out of here. My mom was impressed with a few of the guys, but I can also tell she was not impressed with most of them. You know what, Ma? I have some great guys out there right now. Can we go outside and give them all a chance? Let's just see what we work with. Your call. Hey, After the nicknames, it's time to party. This is an opportunity for my mom and myself to get to know these guys better. It's also the opportunity for these guys to just show us what they're really made of. Do you have any children? Um, no. Um, um I have a uh, twin brother. Yeah, so he's here in um, L.A. also. Which... Identical twins, or? Yeah, exactly. I work as an um, accountant. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, accounts are known to be boring. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's kind of like a boring job and that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, and is um, your daughter... Did you know New York was uh, black? Yeah, well, sister, Somewhere. I... Yeah, well, I mean, yes, and that is, you know, um, perfectly okay, oh, um, okay with me. Mr. Boston, he has, like, these, like, clicks in his head. They're like, click, 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 click. Yeah, well, I mean, so, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah. And they basically need to be oiled so they can just run a little bit smoother. Honestly, I like all these dudes, but I honestly think some dudes are fake. You some know what? I, I want you to point them out to me. I honestly don't think are here for Which New York. Ones? And Which they're ones? here for Please tell me. TV time. Tell me who. Now, do I think some people are here for different reasons? Yeah. There's a lot of good actors out there. If you just walk for a second and you see dudes fight for the camera, anytime a camera walks around, okay. you'll see who runs. Stuff. Okay. See, Chance, he's getting that Laker courage in him. A lot of these guys are fighting, fighting for. They're not fighting for her. No, they're, uh, exactly. They, they're, and he's an idiot. You'll have your time with me. Your daughter will have your time with me. You like me as a person. You like me as a person. You don't. You don't. That's not my like, part. You know what I mean? And you'll see <laughs> who I'm talking reason. about is real Thanks and who's fake. Thanks for that heads up. Who I really like right now is Token. He's my little spy. 
and he's going to feed me lots and lots of information, and he has to stick around because I'm loving Token. I would say you remind me of my mother. How so? You're just like her, 100%, straight to the team. She's black like me. OK, now we'll go to my dad. My dad worked his butt off. He was never a very, This very is very private, if you don't mind. This is very, very <laughs> private. <laughs> very private. Sorry. And if you don't want me smoking, you definitely no, don't want, want you, you definitely don't want Tiffany. OK, so please get out of my you face. Hit it in my face. Get out of my face right now. Sister Patterson and I were having a moment, getting on each other's level. Chance rudely butted in. Got something they didn't expect, the big, huge, puff, puff, magic dragon smoking his face. I brought and you a Coke, coke. and you're doing me like that? You didn't bring me my Coke, sweetheart. I brought you the first Coke. And I didn't drink it. <laughs> well, God, you cold-blooded. Mom blew that smoke in my face. Maybe she thought I was disrespectful. I came over and propped my feet up like it was trying to get the noise. She blew the smoke like, <sighs> be gone. I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm just trying to tell you that I was going to call for it. And I got that love for you and your daughter. You're cold, you're cold. Lose the love. I got love for you, lose but you're cold. Love because what? there's none in return for you. I cannot stand Chance. He has a big mouth, a cocky attitude. Ugh, I, ugh! I can't stand Chance. I want your daughter, not you. Oh, you are such a freaking big mouth punk. That's just what I'm you are. Cup. I'm a punk. You are a punk. We know. We know. Man, y'all let somebody you know disrespect y'all, homeboy. Shut up! Don't nobody disrespect Shut me, man. Up. Right. Yeah, yeah, ain't nobody. Shut, Shut up. up! Yeah, I, I got your daughter with your sick Shut tail. Shut up! That's right! Yeah, ain't nobody. You Shut idiot. up! You idiot! You are an idiot! You know what? You are out of here! You are freaking out of here! Man, she got the random... So then I kind of went off like, excuse me, lady! No! Blah, blah, blah! You oh, are out of here! I want him out, out of here! Get me out of here! Woo! Here we go again, the nut. Ain't nobody <laughs> blowing smoke in my face. This real. Don't nobody blow smoke in my face. What is his problem? This LA, this stallion ass, man. Don't nobody blow smoke in famous face. See, I got love for that lady and her daughter, man. Or I won't be here. Get up. OK, guys, rise and shine. Get up, get up. We're going to church today. Sister Patterson wants us to go to church this morning, and I am still completely drunk. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this thing. I'm definitely not the only one drunk here because he stays up all hours and just gets wasted when no one's even around. So he's feeling a little rough right now, too. You are in trouble. I'll, I'll fix you. I'll help you. The only thing that you have to do is just remove the hat and the scarf and keep the rest. Could you do that? Sister Patterson, she's like, you ain't coming to my church with no hat and rag on your head. We're going to try to do this, and we're going to try to do this very well. Man, if I can't come like this, I'm not going at all. Man, I'm not going to take my hat off and stuff like that. Okay. I'd rather not go in and okay. disrespect you like that. Okay. Just let me stay on okay. the house that I come to your church, though. You know what? You will come inside church with me because everybody here needs to hear the word of the Lord. So I said, I'm not going to fight with them. This is Sunday. Who wants to fight on a Sunday? Tiffany! <laughs> you guys look good. Everybody looks great. Come on, let's go to church. <laughs> All right. So it's Sunday morning, and we're going to church. I ain't going in there. I'm posting. I hear the word on the outside. OK. OK. I know Sister Patterson wants me to go in there, but hey, peep this. My ain't coming off. It ain't happening, man. Nuh-uh, no way. I'm posting right here. I don't think so. No. I had never seen that kind of thing in my life. The music, the singing. I mean, it almost scared me since I'm Jewish. But hey, I can move with the best of them. And now it's the time for that first of reflection by Sister Patterson. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. 
truly it is a, an anointed day today for me to even stand in your presence. I don't know how I got here. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I come to tell you, the Lord sent me here. The Lord, he knows why I'm here today. He ordered my footsteps to be in your presence. And the only thing that you told me is, bless my people. <laughs> What is that? Come on, I'm 12. Everybody rock those left, but Jesus. I'm sitting outside. And I hear this woman going off in there, and it sounded like Sister Patterson speaking the word. So I got chills, and I, 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 I had to take my hat off, and I had to get in there. Praise him! Praise him! Praise him! Praise him! Praise him! Praise him! Don't take my smiles for being weak or too lovey-dovey and cushy-cushy and because I'm not that way. Yes. Uh, I just got something said in New York if possible. What, I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm speaking to you in private. I'm in a house with a bunch of guys. You know, it's very, very difficult to get a solemn moment. So I gotta go through some odd measures. I just got a quick question. Every time we have a group meeting, you always wanna speak in private. What Why I do it all off in my business? <laughs> oh man, what are you worried about it for? I ain't I ain't know you felt this way, dog. I'm just, I, now, am I not keeping it real? I'm there. keeping it real though, play. Yeah, dog, I, I, you keeping it real ain't none of my business. You want, you... Apparently Tango had a hard time taking this constructive criticism. I was just keeping it real, man. If I were to win this competition, it's gonna be me. It's not gonna be me, me, <laughs> but a white boy. Let homeboy go on three, five dates with you. He ain't gonna be 10. I ain't losing this, especially to you. He ain't gonna be me, so go ahead and talk. Tango started going off on white boy and too much drama broke out today and I'm sick of it. I hope these guys are not losing focus that I'm here looking for love. You want, you want to get on some gang That's what you want? What you, you want apologize? me to be that what, kind of cat? Because you just sat right here and you tried to throw dirt on my name, throw darts at me? White boy starts flapping his gums as he always does. If we were out in the streets, white boy would be laid out and the stretchers would be on their way right now. So they, that's Why you took your little here, shoulder dog, brace off? It's war. You're supposed it's to be injured. Now. Why you done took your little shoulder brace off? Dog, what I do is none of your business. You need to learn that, dog. Well, you try to we like, got those lines you try drawn to like, out. You do what you need to do, I'm gonna do what I need to do. Now I know where our lines is at. Now I know what bound to overstep. Dog, we got it perfectly understood. That man in love, I'm telling you, you know he saying, is bro? in what love. Tango man gets into it, my dog, white boy man, and it's Jumps around in front of Sister Patterson, taking off his <laughs> sling, punching the air, man. We like, man, this fool tripping, man. He better calm down. He don't even know what's in store for his ass. You was about to get your ass straight whipped, and you know it. You ain't crazy. You can verbally you fight all you want that. to, but there's not going to be any physically fighting there, up there, here because that, I take all y'all down. Situation. I'm not going to go with that dog. It didn't have to go that far, you know what I mean? All that cousin stuff in front of her mama like that was, like, totally disrespectful. I know this ain't no Girl Scout meeting. Right. And that's what I wanted to see was real. Cause it ain't all about no kumbaya, kumbaya up in here. Sit the Patterson's in, hey! What? Hey guys! My daughter, she does not know her way around the kitchen. So I decided to come over today and see if these guys know how to work a pot and pan. I'm here for dinner and I'm very hungry. Look it over, get it right. Make it taste good. You know, we obviously don't get the date, so now we got to cook for Sister Patterson. I really don't know what's in store, but I pray to God that it ain't something tough. You have one hour to prepare my meal. Go make the meal, set the table, and someone get me a glass of water with a twist of lemon. You got any veggie stock? We break for the kitchen. I had to make the soup. Chance making the cake, 12 pack on the rice. My dog, real, he making the salad. And Tango making the lobster. So yeah, man, we, we doing it. Oh, this is absolutely miserable. Considering that it takes 50 minutes to cook the rice and I have about an hour to do it, there's no chance my rice is gonna be cooked the way it should be. That don't look nothing like mama's cakes, man. Oh, now I put it in the freezer. Duh. These cats don't know it's cracking, it's on. Hey guys, the table is not set yet. I want proper place setting at that table. Talking to me? I 
I don't want it to go down though, so we gotta do it fast. Five minutes, guys. You're only here to do uh, cooking and nothing else. Sister Patterson was real hungry because she kept marching in that kitchen ball down our throat, down our throat. She showed putting the pressure on our ass. Then I had five. Put, put a fork in that. Yeah. I don't want to hurt your little shrimp. Your little shrimp. shrimp. <laughs> they better be lobster tails. I'm actually a very, very good cook. I'm not a seafood person. I really hope she doesn't spit up <laughs> my lobster tail. Taste that lobster uh, tail. Very ocean-like. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Still, <laughs> I'm so sorry. About Tango, it. being a guy from Florida, you don't know how to cook a lobster? Very disappointed. Yeah, Hello. go on. <laughs> Serve me up. Shall we drink? Yeah. Would you like some rice? The rice is gooey. He didn't, even, he didn't do a down on thing. Get the hell out of here. Oh. Sister Patterson did spit the rice head like someone was trying to poison her, but, you know, it was a little undercooked, a little overcooked, a little cooked like rice oil. Make the soup. Me? My point. Is good? I need a ton of napkins, please. <laughs> <laughs> Who made the salad again? The sexiest Real. man at the table. Oh. <laughs> the salad mm -hmm. is delicious. Very she good. Is. Put a lot of love, tender, and care in that salad, and she really liked it. That cake is gonna be a real test. Cause I put my heart, bones, and soul in that one. <laughs> I, I see that. Here goes. Twist up with this one. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> Turn out mama ain't feeling my cake too much like I thought she was gonna be feeling. She said this <laughs> tastes horrible. You guys tried very hard. I'm just kind of disappointed to see that it turned out like this. Oh, yeah. Some of your daughter's friends came over. Oh, really? I don't I know your daughter hangs out with uh, elementary kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to uh, have children around you. So what happened? I almost ran the whole pack out the yard. I'm going to be honest with you. So they were monster children? Monster children? Man, they should be driving monster trucks. <laughs> You're not ready for a pet pig. I'm sitting at the damn table, right? Sister Patterson, she said, oh, you ain't ready for kids? So I kind of had to soldier the up, man, because now it's time to reveal my self. Screw all the BS, dog, man. On the serious side, man, I got a little boy. And I feel like I should be at the house right now with my little boy. I'm sitting at the table, and I can't really believe that he said this. My damn brother, he just blew up because he's like, I got a kid, you know? And then the guilt factor of him not talking to his kid or seeing his kid, it just, the boy just exploded. Dog, but I ain't going to go uh, searching around for no that and, 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 and shouldn't be here for no Dog, hold on, hold on. because I'm I, I ain't there for my little boy. I've been a dog, and I'm there for my boy. You know, dog, that no time. I'm sorry to spin, but I'm about to grab my bags, dog, and I'm about to get the out of here. That hit me at the core of my heart. I got a little boy, but I ain't keeping quiet no more. If I ex my boy, I'm exing myself out. So I'm going, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Because it's all about me and my boy right now. And I'm glad because I got my one little and boy. And you're free to, and you're free to go, but please do not break the furniture. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm very glad that he is totally out of here. He's obnoxious. He's overbearing. He's rude and impolite. Let him go. Relieve yourself. Go I'm on. out this damn place, dog. <laughs> that. Chance. Relieve yourself. Go I'm on. out this damn place, dog. Right, exactly. I'm about to go hang my little boy, dog. Be a father to your child. So we're sitting at the table, and Sister Patterson told my brother Chance that he wasn't fit for a kid. And man, he just blew up because he's like, I got a kid, you know? And uh, some people felt him, some people didn't. Uh, be honest with you, if, if I had a child right now, especially a young child, I wouldn't be here. Oh, absolutely. If she gives you a chain tonight, and if you'll accept my offer, you give her back your chain. I came up with this awesome plan to pay Chance off to get the hell out of this house. And I don't care what excuse you give her. So let's just walk out of here. Chris, my thousand dollars in cash. My word is my bond. How you say it in the street? Yeah, but I don't want to leave here like that, though. Who cares? Nobody has to know it. No, she doesn't even know it. Nobody knows about this. Damn, that's crazy. I didn't know what to think, to be honest with you, man. Five grand, no chain, or stay there and receive a chain? I don't know. You don't know. There could be five more on top of that. I don't think he bit, so I doubled it. You serious like this? Hell yeah. So there's $10,000 for Chance if he'll leave my daughter tonight. It's up to you, but I'm telling you, you gotta go home 
with nothing. Or you can leave tonight. So you're saying your daughter's not feeling me? Absolutely not. This is trippy. The kids from Sister Patterson taste like old lady perfume. I don't know about this. That's you. That's your business. Chance would be a real idiot if he turned down $10,000, because there's no way my daughter's going to pick him. <laughs> oh, dang. The crazy ass devil woman. She does even as things to make you see her devil ass ways. <laughs> this lady's a <laughs> witch, B. Guys. There you are. Today is such a beautiful day, so I thought that I would just stop in and see what my guys are doing and uh, sit by the pool and chat. How are you guys getting along with uh, my baby right here? It's better now, but we have fallen out a little bit. Yeah. Oh, you I, have fallen out? My what? behavior the first couple of days in this house was despicable, and, and I mean, I'm, I'm very embarrassed about what happened. I mean, I try to portray myself as someone who's sophisticated, but to spit in this, someone's face is as Low uncouth, life. is as uncouth yeah, as you could possibly yeah. be. I mean, I'll, let, does, I'll let him finish his. He does, Miss He didn't antagonize his. That's, you know, his, not, that's his strategy. Yeah. His behavior was despicable, and he shouldn't have done that. But he's fighting right now for his girl, New York, and that's one of my boys. I want New York to, to choose me on my merits, not on the fact that I've bashed every other guy in the house. So Well, you can bash every guy in the house if you want to be the last man standing, but you don't but have just, to spit on I, you. I agree. Thank God Sister P isn't that mad about that whole spitting incident. I mean, clearly she's mad, but she definitely doesn't want to see me go home. Well, anyways, why are you here? Um, I'm here because I would love to uh, win Tiffany's heart. The psychic, she said I wasn't a pervert or had like. No, her, her word means nothing. I wanted to talk to Sister Patterson and go over some things, you know, that was said about me by her. When you asked me if I was a freak, I mean, that was the word, that was the like the most uncomfortable. uncomfortable well, you are. To you. You, I mean, I you was, are. When you call me a child Rich. molesting pervert. When did I call you a child molester? You call me. When did I call you a child molester? You said. You, when did I call you a child first, molester? The, Tell the me. second day with an elimination. The entertainer does not know when to keep his mouth closed in front of Sister Patterson. I mean, the more he says, the more damage he does. What I said about you, I said you are a freak at the lowest level. You You're the you. only mother in the world that doesn't like me, so that says something about you, not something about me. I said you were a pervert, and you are. The entertainer is a pervert, a deadbeat. There's no way that he's gonna end up with my daughter. Don't smoke a cigarette. And don't come back. Is he come back? I'm don't come back. Well, hello, Hi. hello. I knew that Punk's mom and his sister weren't too fond of me, so I wanted to loosen them up a little bit and show them that I'm a cool girl. This is my mom. This is Sister Patterson. New York's mother. Yeah. This is my sister, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, this Hi. is Sister Patterson. Hello, Sister Patterson. This is my mother, Susan. How are you? Nice to meet you. I really need to use the restroom. I was excited for my mother and father to get to know New York. Yes, Sister Patterson, no. You know, I said a little prayer. I said, you know, please, God, let this let this date and this little dinner date go well. So how is everyone doing? Great. Great. I love you, <laughs> She's a nice girl. Okay. What do you think of my son? Oh. Your son is it? I have to. Let him go and to the bathroom. And you better be nice about it. <laughs> I'm, no, really, I'm going to be honest about it. Be <laughs> honest. I have to go to the bathroom real fast. Be right back. Only gonna take a minute and 20 seconds, minute, you know, minute and a half tops. I hope that you take them home with you then. <laughs> <laughs> I think she should. I'm not taking him home because he likes your daughter and your daughter likes him. And that's not your business or mine to decide who they want in their life. The entertainers sloppy mother decides to uh, put her fat, greasy finger in my face and tell me what to say and what not to say, and uh, I'm not going to have that. Well, I have respect for your daughter. Well, you She's don't have, you know what, girl. have respect for my daughter. <laughs> you got to have it for my mom. Absolutely. No, but would you say I'm sorry? I said you have to have it for well, my mom. No, I don't have to have it. Well, well you know you what? Well, you will, or you're going to excuse your ass from but the you know what? Right you... off the bat, Frank's mom started attacking my mom. I definitely stand by my mother, and I'll always jump to my mom's defense. Don't, don't tell me what I'm gonna do. I don't have to excuse myself. Don't no, be up in my way. Wait, Tiffany's talking about my mother. 
you know, ain't gonna you come know what? here and disrespect my mother. Listen, New York and Sister Patterson were just cursing back and forth, and my mom isn't really too big on that. We're yeah. not even going there with you because I can't waste my time with nothing like you. So and I don't want to disrespect my mother. You know, uh, no, no, no. Are you like, crazy? This is totally over with. You're not gonna disrespect with. my mother. This is totally You're over with. You're disrespecting me right now. This, no, and she's not. Because you disrespect no, my mother. No, she's not. You disrespect my son. So while this was going down, I was kind of trying to figure out how I was going to do damage control in the situation. It was going to take some work to convince my mom that New York is good for me. Girls, you you sat down to this table with a problem. Low-class people, uh, mother and daughter, low-class trash. Man, I saw walking up the steps and Sister Patterson in New York are walking down already, saying, oh, someone better control her mother. I was just saying, please, Punk's mom, please let it be Punk's mom. No, we what? talk to your family. We, we, we need privacy. Well, hold on. Don't, don't follow us up here. So what did you want? She course. doesn't like you, and I just told her what I think of her. She's got some damn nerve. See, she want to go sit up there, go back home, home with her and, friends, and talk you to her You see what girls, I, you're so what and, I saw? This is the Patterson? Exactly. Like, oh, girl, I told her no. Exactly. No, 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 no. you won't. Could you think you could? I'm, I'm trying to get Oh, I'm calm, yeah. My mother will not back down from anybody. If you're gonna say something to her, you're gonna say something about me, about anybody in my family, she will sit there and she will battle you until the cows come home. I don't wanna sit near her. You better Indeed. change seats with me. I won't yeah, sit Switch next to her. Switch pops. I don't wanna you sit, sit next to her. I, I can see that lady. You, you sit, sit next, next to her. her. I don't wanna sit next to her either. I, 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 I will not sit next to okay. her. That was a mistake okay. to me. Okay. Okay. I should have never sat next to her. I don't think she's gonna like me any more than you would sit next to her. She better shut her mouth. All right, all right. I, I wanted to go downstairs and talk to Sister Patterson in New York and say, listen, you know, can't we just go upstairs? Can't we all just get along? Let's go upstairs, let's eat dinner, and make the best of it. I asked my mother what the hell happened in a matter of one minute and 40 seconds that I went to the bathroom. You need to talk said. to your mother, so why are you in my face and I'm trying to have one-on-one -on -one time with my mother? I just want to have dinner. I'm going to have dinner when I feel mother. like having dinner. Thank I mean, you for trying to mediate very, and come see, uh, but you can come you back. Mean? New York is basically Sister Patterson's pet. Sister Patterson tells New York what to do, and New York listens. She's like a little, little pet. Get out of my mother's face. Get out of my Go face. That Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. There's absolutely no reasoning with New York when it comes to her mother. I came here to get to know all the parents, or I'll just exactly. X them out and talk to the husband. <laughs> now, if she want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me, I'll let her have it in the worst kind of way. How'd it go? They're coming back well, up. they're gonna come back up eventually Please. when she's ready. But she's just like yelling, Please. screaming at them. Tell her go. She said, "Listen, mom, when really she comes did. up here, just be quiet." Um, I, I won't say a word. I want to eat dinner. Are you ready? I think that my family and I were so quiet at dinner because there wasn't really a whole lot left to say. And the mood was just kind of awkward because the entertainer's parents would talk to Sister Patterson in New York and vice versa. Good help to everybody. Good she help. Is. Sir, what is your name? Gary. Gary. Okay, I'm, I'm Michelle. How you doing? Yeah, we didn't get that far, I don't think. How you doing? I'm very well. I Good. mean, I'm looking at a knockout right now. You're a very handsome man. Are you sure your eyes are okay? Yes. D what, do, don't you think of yourself as being <laughs> gorgeous? Not when you have, you know, these young guys, you know what I'm saying? You well, know, your son doesn't count. I'm talking about you. You know, I... <laughs> I'm sure your wife tells you how gorgeous you are. Oh, you're so full of <laughs> Yeah? Your yeah. mother is a hateful piece of Can we just eat? Sweetheart. Seriously. No, I, I think you have too much testosterone. Like I do. I do. And I look much better than you. How old are you? I love that Mommy. wig you wear. You look like you're wearing a beaver's ass okay. on your head. That's your husband's okay. hair okay. looks better than you're you. You're wearing a wig. My That's husband's right. ass looks That's better right. than you. I am wearing a wig. Come here. Come here. Come here. 1,500 cents. Cheap. Wearing your husband's jock strap on your yeah, head. Yeah, I'd rather wear his jock strap than your oh, wig. Shut up, you fat ass. After seeing that woman, it makes my mother look great. Good afternoon, madam. Welcome to Super Club's Grand Lido and Grill. How may I assist you today? Sweet for one, Patterson. Sister Patterson. I can't believe it. In walks Sister Patterson. 
you want to sit down? Tiffany told me that she was taking the guys to Jamaica, and she told me to join her later. But I've got some unfinished business with these two, so I decided to come a little bit earlier. You enjoying yourself? Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm happy to be here. New York is making a big mistake by keeping Buddha here, and I'm not going to sit around here and watch this charade go on any longer. I picked you because you have strength. Absolutely. You have character. I feel like we're really compatible. Like, you know, I mean, we, we complement each other. You don't feel it. You have to know it. I mean, you I know. In, in my heart, I know that, that. And I know too. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Your strategy is not working. I think Taylor Made is totally scared pink. But I have a gift for him that will change his entire life. Close your eyes. Brace yourself. You have strength. You come from nobility. You have power. This is in you. No one could defeat you. And I'm going to give you a boost. So hold on and clinch. Before I know it, Sister Patterson smacks me across the face. What I gave TaylorMate was called Believe in Yourself. I am ready to go to war. Do you feel that? Yes. Do you feel I that? Do. I am ready to go to war. Do you feel that? Yes. Like I said, I changed his life. Thank you, Sister Patterson. It was good seeing you, and I promise you, I will not let you down. He is history. Sister Patterson gave me a wake-up call. The way to do it is by proving to New York that I'm more devoted to her than Buddha could ever be. Hey, y'all. It's your boy, Caesar. Black Ink CEO. And if you don't know me, the reason why is you ain't subscribed to VH1 YouTube channel. At the end of the day, you already know. That's the number one channel on YouTube. And if you don't got it, I guess you just watch the number two.